Welcome to the Big E. This is the place where we explore, we experience, and we enjoy our life. If we are not enjoying our life, if you don't like where your life is at, um, have you been extremely sad, depressed, the depression, I did a show on that, that's very difficult. Are you fighting with your partner? Are you fighting with your love uh, of your life? Are you fighting with your children? Are you having a difficult time managing and being happy in your life? Look at it from a different angle. Change your perspective of how you see someone. The most powerful and the quickest way to change your life is to change the way you're treating someone. We have to sometimes look at ourselves and take out of, well, he did that, they did that, this is that, and they need to make that right. Why don't we be the first one to change how we're treating them and then watch your world around you change? Today, I would like to talk about, are you selfish? Were you thinking about maybe what that possibly could mean? Years and years ago, after my divorce, my ex told me that I was a very selfish woman. There were things that I was doing in my life that I felt were to help me to be stronger, clearer, and a healthier, all around healthier individual. So are you selfish? Today, I stand up and I say, my name is Jasmine, and I am a very selfish person. What I mean by that is that I take care of myself first. I make sure I have time in my schedule and my calendar for me. I'm selfish to know that I need me to be first because nobody else will do it for me. So yes, I'm selfish. I'm selfish in the way I choose to put myself first. I choose myself first. In these choices, I am clear. I have grown strong and I have grown, grown, grown healthy. I'm healthy of my, in my body, I'm healthy in my mind, but more importantly for me, I'm healthy in my heart. Is there such a thing? Can you have a, I guess you can have a healthy heart when you're talking to your doctor, but I mean in the healthy way of whatever I do in my life, wherever I'm coming from, I come from love. I come from my heart. So what are things that you can be selfish in your life about? If you're not selfish in taking care of yourself first, your children a lot of times will see a bitter, frustrated, and sometimes even very angry person. If you're not selfish in your relationship, your love, your marriage, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, if you're not selfish in that area, they will see an impatient, snappy, uh, very sometimes very lethargic, withdrawn, disconnected from the relationship. They'll see this person that doesn't have the ability to always connect, connect with them, work on the relationship, build it to a stronger foundation, a stronger, more endearing relationship. Those are powerful things to do, but you need to be a powerful individual. How do we make ourselves powerful? Being selfish. Take care of yourself, a massage, go do your nails, go do your toes. Guys, go play baseball with your brothers, your bros, your, your friends, or even take time out for your own meditation group. Not together necessarily. What feeds your soul? What makes you feel stronger? What empowers you? And sometimes it means that we do that alone. That's the time I need. Not everybody needs time to themselves. It varies in different amounts depending on the individual. Me? I need a lot of it. Is that because I'm a hard case? Am I just really got a lot of issues? 
No, it's how I was created. Whether it's because I came in on a certain zodiac sign, I'm a very intense person. I'm a very giving person. I'm empathic. So there are times out there that I know I need to recharge. And sometimes that takes me more time. And sometimes I just love my own time. Sometimes I just want to stay there. I want to do more of that. Whether it's reading, I have an audio book that I'm reading. And I just want more and more of what feels good in that moment. And that's a lot of time to myself. Here on the show, I guess you could say, I'm doing time on my own. It's just me, the lights, and the camera. But no, I see you guys out there. So no, 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 I, I'm interacting. I'm connecting now. So this in itself is time spent with you. But then after the show, I take my own time. I'll cook, I'll rest. Sometimes I do these little power naps. I love these power naps. I can do them for like 10 minutes. 10 minute power naps, it's amazing. Sometimes it's better than eight hours of sleep, but Believe me, I love my eight hours of sleep, no doubt. So are you selfish? No? Then take my advice, be selfish. If someone calls you selfish, your kids, your husband, your relationship, your friends, say thank you. Thank you, because I'm becoming a stronger, a clearer, a healthier a more powerful, and my favorite word, a more beautiful human being by being selfish in the time that you give yourself. Again, if people say, well, you've done this so long, okay, that's enough, or you do it so much, don't let that affect you in staying clear of how much selfish time do you need. You choose. You take all that you need. Sometimes it's a lot. Sometimes with me, it's not quite so much. It's moments or just a few minutes. You know, like I said, a 10 minute power nap, a few minutes to uh, just take a deep breath and exhale. But you choose the time and how long and how much and what it is you're going to do for yourself in those moments of being selfish, do it. You'll feel better. You'll smile more. You'll be happier in life. You'll be able to give more to your relationships, give more to the job, give more to your family, your friends. You'll be able to give more to yourself, but you also will become very clear. It clears the, I don't know what happened, what's going on. It brings a clarity to yourself when you're selfish. So what's the word of the day? Let's be selfish. When you get selfish and you're strong, teach others to be selfish. Teach your children how to be selfish. Give them time to themselves. What do they like to do? Show them that that quiet space or that stillness is a powerful way to love ourselves and be selfish. I hope this show has helped. I hope it's given you a few tools on how to change your life. Be that happier, healthier being. Reach out when you're not being selfish. Connect, email me. You can contact me through my website. I'd love to hear from you. I'm sending you love always.